Dark Side of Walt Disney. 95 years ago, the Disney Brothers studio was founded in Los Angeles. Disney has come a long way since then, and is now one of the biggest companies in the world. But who exactly was the man behind Mickey Mouse? For many, Uncle Walt has a special place in the hearts of people around the world. However, others thought he was a living nightmare. Walt Disney was born in Chicago in 1901. However, he was largely raised in Kansas City, Missouri, and it's said he had a tough childhood, with a strict father who was borderline abusive. Walt Disney's birth certificate also seemed suspicious, it listed him as being 10 years older than he thought he was, making him think he was illegitimate. This lead the animator to feature tough child-parent relationships in his work. One of the only Disney films that features both parents is Peter Pan. When he was in his 20s, Disney was a commercial artist by day and animator by night. His work was popular, and Disney even formed an animation studio called Laugh-O-Grams. However, Laugh-O-Grams would not last. The studio eventually declared bankruptcy, and many lost their jobs. According to the Belfast Telegraph, Disney was a street angel, house devil. News of his wife's pregnancy drove the animator to a breakdown eight years into his marriage. Apparently, Disney became a heavy drinker and chain-smoked 60 cigarettes a day. He also had nervous breakdowns, and obsessively washed his hands every hour. Walt Disney and workers didn't quite get along, especially when it came to low wages. Animators went on strike in 1941. They also wanted to join the Screen Cartoonists Guild, but Disney blocked his workers from unionizing, and even fired his pro-union animators. The strike lasted nine weeks. This apparently led Disney to call out workers as communists, as part of his involvement with the Motion Picture Alliance. Disney had a dastardly relationship with his employees, and at one point they turned on him in cartoonish fashion, no pun intended. For his 35th birthday, the animators threw a birthday bash where they screened an explicit cartoon featuring Mickey and Minnie. According to the Irish Independent, it was a pointed metaphor for the way they felt they were being treated by Disney. Disney applauded the animation, and asked to meet those who were responsible. When they revealed themselves, he fired them on the spot and left the party in silence. It's said that Disney sacked his animators like it was nothing. Eventually, many of them banded together and founded up a, a rival company. One of darker facts here, Walt Disney accidentally killed his own mother. Upon finding success, Disney bought his parents a nice house. When the furnace broke, Disney sent some employees to fix. However, the inexperienced workers caused a gas leak, which led to his mother's death. Walt Disney's legacy has been haunted with allegations of anti-Semitism and racism. Offensive stereotypes can be found in films like Fantasia, Dumbo, and the infamous Son of the South. Disney associated with the Motion Picture Alliance, which was seen as an anti-Semitic group. Son of the South was also released without approval from the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. What's more, Disney personally hosted Leni Riefenstahl, a Nazi propagandist, at his studio. She later said it was gratifying to learn how thoroughly proper Americans distance themselves from the smear campaigns of the Jews, as reported by Paste magazine. To be fair, Disney's reputation with women workers is more down to the social norms at the time. However, it's said that Disney was determined to make women workers in menial positions. During the 1930s and 40s, women would work as inkers, and painting every cell in animated films. When making Snow White, it said women would work more than 80 hours a week. Back in the day, Disney sent out an infamous rejection letter to a woman. Women do not do any of the creative work in connection with preparing the cartoons for the screen, as that work is performed entirely by young men, the message read, as per the Daily Mail. Time to get political. Walt Disney was heavily involved in anti-communist attitudes in America. He supported companies and initiatives with dubious tactics, and even outed his own animators as potential communists. Disney also supported the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals. 
the group has been documented as being anti-Semitic. Walt Disney had big dreams for his theme park, and wanted it to have a wholesome appearance, according to the Belfast Telegraph. That meant no beards, goatees, and mustaches. Disney was famous for having a mustache, but Disneyland workers weren't allowed to have a mustache until 2000. Disney was something of a family business between Walt and his brother Roy. The former was the creative force, while Roy was more of a businessman. It's said that the duo were rivals, which divided loyalty at Disney Studios. The creative team were dubbed Walt's boys, while Roy's boys ran the financial department. Divisions in the Disney Studios were no good for business, and Roy was always tasked with managing Walt's frenetic financial movements. Walt Disney was said to go from Uncle Walt to a living nightmare. He divided Disney up by gender, and refused to negotiate with workers on wages. Disney kept his hands on company policy. Apparently, he controlled everything from theme park designs to researching how far trash cans should be from the desk. So, what do you think about Uncle Walt? Let me know down in the comments. Your favorite Disney celebrity. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.